One of the pieces you are here to record today is Time Out of Joint, the Brass Septet. Tell me a bit about how that came about. Yeah, well, I wanted to write a piece for the brass group. I did some research on historically what brass groups, what they comprised of, and who was playing at the moment currently, what brass groups were out there. And a friend of mine suggested I check out Septura. He said, they're fantastic, have a listen. So I did, and I concurred with his view that they were fantastic. I loved the rich, sonorous sound that they were making. So I got in touch with Simon at Septura, and they said they would um, play my piece. And so here we are today not only being played but it's being recorded which is very exciting so why a brass group what drew you to the sound of the brass group well since i wrote the piece last year 2020 um, i've had a little bit of time to think why is this idea of writing for a brass group why is this bubble to the surface now but i think it actually when I thought about it, I think probably one of my first live music experiences was probably listening to the local brass band in the local park. So where I grew up in Whitefield, near in Manchester, the local brass band, Bessies of the Barn brass band, quite a well-known brass band uh, nationally, and I think they toured internationally. Um, I just remember being in the park, on a sunny Sunday afternoon with Bessie of the Barn Band playing on the bandstand. So very early memories, so maybe it goes back to that, growing up with that. And then also when I came to London, I was doing some arranging, commercial arranging for sort of a strictly come dancing kind of band, which involved trumpets and trombones. So I think, I think that sound is just, it's just, in me. It's part of me. I've grown up with it. So it was really nice to have the opportunity to write a piece for a brass group. I notice you based this piece on Shakespeare's Hamlet and you've prefaced each movement with a Hamlet quote. So why Hamlet? Good question. Why Hamlet? Um, I was, I watched an old video of a BBC production of Hamlet from I think the 70s with Derek Jacobi in the title role and that sent me back to read the play again and I just felt there was for me there was a resonance with what Shakespeare was writing about what was going on in Elsinore machinations of the central characters that struck a chord with me about where we were last year in 2020 in the lockdown very strange times and so that was my inspiration for the for the piece really um, so not so much it isn't that i'm trying to do a musical description of, of the play as much it's just more a slight edginess about what what goes on in the play i wanted to sort of bring that feeling to the music the second of your pieces that you're here to record today is called Fragments mm. for solo violin. So what's the background to that piece? Fragments came about because my composition mentor, Sally Beamish, she'd been looking at a piece of mine again last year, early last year before the lockdown, which was written for a very large orchestra, six or seven percussion. And she thought it was time that I went completely to the opposite end of the scale and just wrote something for one instrument. Um, and so that's how Fragments came about, sort of a Sally throwing down the gauntlet of, OK, time to write something for a solo instrument. So I chose the violin, and that's how the genesis of Fragments. I was listening earlier to a rehearsal of Fragments, and it seems to be a very different sound world to Time Out of Joint. It is. 
So, time as with joint, you've got seven instruments, lots of different combinations of a possible, which is really nice from a compositional point of view. Trumpets, trombones, and the tuba, and maybe different mutes and things. Then you go to one instrument, and I suppose the knee-jerk reaction compositionally is to write a lot of notes to keep keep it all going all the time and double stops, triple stops to give the the harmonic sense. But I wanted to sort of step back and go the other way. I remember when I was at college transcribing Miles Davis's solo to Someday My Prince Will Come to learn about Miles's choice of notes for improvisation. But what I had learned as well was how he used space and I wanted to write a piece that had that built in. So if we were in a fantastic space like we are today, that would, that would really become a duet with the solo instrument and the space that we're in. And as you said in the rehearsal, we heard it. And what Takane Fenatsu, who's, who's playing the piece, was getting back. She was working with that because I built into the piece spaces and pauses where it's completely up to the soloist how long they hold those notes or wait until the next fragment comes in. So, yeah, when we record it later, it's going to be very interesting to hear how she works with the space and the, that is built into it, how she, how she makes a duet with the church that we're in today. Thank you, Pete. I really look forward to hearing both pieces.